net neutrality is hanging on by the thinnest of threads. Earlier today, the FCC formally proposed new rules that would allow companies like Netflix to pay internet service providers like Comcast to have their content sent to customers at faster speeds. That decision, which divided the FCC along party lines, came after weeks of protests from consumer advocates who worried that the new rules would create internet fast lanes for companies that can afford to pay for faster speeds. As the FCC voted, hundreds of protesters gathered outside its Washington, D.C. headquarters, demanding that the agency protect net neutrality and start regulating the Internet like a public utility. The FCC did not listen to these protesters this time around, but as the comment period on its proposed rules begins, their activism will be more important than ever if we want to keep the Internet, our information commons, open and free. Joining me now for more on this is Ben Wickler, senior strategist for MoveOn.org, who spoke at today's rally in front of the FCC. Ben, welcome. Thank you very much, Tom. Great, great to have you with us. So you were there. What happened? I was outside the FCC while they were causing trouble inside the FCC, I'm afraid to say. There yeah, were hundreds of us. I'm curious about the dynamic in both places. Yeah. Well, you know, there have been Occupy the FCC protesters outside the building now for several weeks. And Chairman uh, Wheeler actually came out and spoke to the protesters at one point. Really? Yeah. He Today? Was, uh, not today, on a, on a, on a previous day. Uh -huh. So today, you know, they were in there having their hearing. There were, I think, four people stood up and protested and, you know, and they got had to leave. Out. That's right. But it was one of these moments where uh, we were kind of there as a show of force of the public. There was yep. a digital sign uh, that Avaz.org brought that showed 3.4 million people around the world and in the U.S. have signed on uh, to petitions in support of this. There were also MoveOn.org members outside of the offices of 20 different FCC uh, locations around the country. So this yeah. is a you know, huge so widespread you got uprising. So over 3 million activists, so over Online, 3 million, yeah. you know. And what, 10, 15, 20 companies that want the Tom Wheeler to be doing what he's doing? Yeah, it's a tiny handful. And, and really, there's a few right at the top, like Comcast, I would say, most of all. Right. And Which those owns guys, NBC and MSNBC, by that's the way, right. we should add. So, <laughs> therefore, they probably will not be having this conversation tonight. Probably not exactly the same conversation yeah. we're having. These guys have tons of lobbyists. The lobbyists have been there in force, wearing suits. You saw the, the footage. The activists are out there in t-shirts. But the activists actually have the public on their side. People yeah. count on a free and open internet. At this point, people see it as part of free speech. Why, then? are they not responding? Why, why not just do a Title II thing and say, you know, the Internet's just like the phone company. The yeah, phone company can't listen into my phone conversation and based on the content of my conversation decide how much they're going to charge me per minute. Um, you know, why can't we just do that? Well, we still can't. Uh -huh. So what just happened today was actually the starting gun for a race. It's essentially a race between big money and people power. And over the next 60 days, what you're going to see is millions of public comments flowing into the FCC. You'll see lobbyists twisting arms. You'll see protesters, you know, holding signs, marching up and down outside of headquarters. And the outcome of these 60 days is really what determines what happens with net neutrality. This was, this was a process step today. So what can people do over the next 60 days? The first thing you can do is call the FCC. People have been calling so much that they literally turned off their phones. They've never had this kind of pressure before. But this is when it counts. You should call them on the phone. You should go to, to moveon.org or savetheinternet.org, sign petitions, and then you should submit public comments with your own story about why this matters. Moveon.org has, has been collecting stories from members. We've heard from, uh, for example, teachers who use virtual field trips. School budgets have been cut, so they can't actually take real field trips now. And they do video tours of places instead. But if those videos start stuttering because the people who set up the virtual field trips can't pay the way that you know, a big company yeah. like Netflix they can. They don't have a million bucks to have Comcast. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it makes education even worse. It's, I mean, it's, it's an not. underhanded cut in something that should be a public service.